Good morning, Cornerstone. For today's inspirational vitamin, I'm going to be looking at a verse that I shared on Sunday in the message and I'm diving into it just a little bit deeper uh, for today's IV. Uh, over in Acts chapter 3 and verse 19, it says this, Therefore, repent and return so that your sins may be wiped away in order that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord and that he may send Jesus the Christ appointed for you whom heaven must receive until the period of restoration of all things, about which about which God spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets from ancient time. I really wanted to focus a little bit on uh, two expressions in verse 19 where it says, you know, repent and return so that your sins may be wiped away. Um, that was an allusion to um, when they would have like parchment paper um, in those days, um, when you wrote something, there weren't really erasers. You basically had to um, get a sort of a particular solution and almost scrub it off and wipe it off. They, they didn't have a bunch of just paper lying around, so they often had to reuse them. And so if you want, if you had um, a piece of parchment that was written on and you'd already used it for whatever message in order to use it again, you had to wipe away um, what was there. And, um, and so that's exactly what, what Jesus does with our sins. It's like there's a stain, there's something um, on our... Um, you know, on our books that is against us. And Jesus just wipes that away, right? You get to wipe that clean, um, which is which is really encouraging. It's like starting over and a new story is going to be written, right? Where Jesus is the author and perfecter of that faith. And then secondly, where it says, in order that times of ref refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, the word refreshing in Greek is anapsuksis. And the term means like a recovery of breath. A refreshing. So sort of like if you had gone swimming and um, you were swimming under the water and then when you came up to take a deep breath um, after you hold it, held it for a period of time, right? You would feel refreshed from having been under the water. Um, you would feel refreshed externally, but you'd also would feel, you would also feel refreshed internally once you take that deep breath. This term was also used when like a ship had sank and uh, they were able to maybe sort of salvage or recover it when they would pull it up on shore um, for the wind to sort of cool it off and dry it off. Um, this is the same term that anapsuksis, that refreshment was used when a ship had to be repaired or restored. And so that's exactly what happens when we repent and sort of return uh, to God is that, um, you know, we're like a broken or damaged ship, right? And um, we get to be restored. And it's interesting that both of these expressions, the being wiped away and this refreshment are probably allusions to baptism, right? Like when that ship had sort of gone underwater or sank and then they were able to pull it up on shore to, to repair it um, um, as it was cooled off by the wind. That's an allusion to the Holy Spirit, you know, just being blown into our bodies. Um, but we get repaired and restored um, after a shipwreck, so to speak, after the shipwrecking of our lives, Jesus puts us back together. And so my encouragement today is, you know, if you want to feel the presence of the Lord, if you want to feel refreshment from the presence of the Lord, you know, always look to Jesus for, um, you know, for, for how maybe we need to repent in our lives. That will bring the presence of God in our lives. And, and this is not to say that, you know, maybe when, when you don't have unconfessed sin or you have something you're still working on that Jesus is not with you. But I love this promise that when we do make changes, when we do decide to to cut things out of our lives, to deny ourselves, that you just, and I think we can all agree, you feel this refreshment, you feel just a joy, you feel, you feel closer to God uh, when those things occur. So that's my encouragement from for, for today. Let's feel refreshment from the Lord uh, that can be experienced by being in his presence when we repent. Have a great day, Cornerstone. We love you.